Good morning. <clears throat> oh, we. Good morning. What's up, good people? How y'all doing? It's so bright out here. Hold on. I might have to put my shades on. I'm trying to block all this freaking sun where I'm at right now. And I just wanted to come on here and um, speak really quick about Tupac's murder um, investigation. Y'all know they arrested someone finally. And I'm not going to lie. I'm, let me just jump right into how I feel. Y'all, I'm feeling like this is really performative. Think about it. I always talk about how they do, how, you know, to pay attention to the the um, patterns and the rhythm and the chant, the symbolism, you know. What's the odds of this happening during 50 years of hip hop? During the hype of the hip hop, the 50 years of hip hop, they so happened to arrest Tupac's murderer. Now, I'm not denying any of the evidence that they have against them. I just know that they knew that he was guilty for a very long time. I'm not sure how long he's been doing interviews, but I just feel like they waited until the right moment to um, arrest him. Now, this can be as simple as them trying to capitalize, but who is trying to capitalize? The police station? Are they trying to make the most out of this? You know, like, do they, they're not making money from it. Like, is it about the, um, about the attention that the situation is garnering? Not to mention the Super Bowl is in Vegas this year. So, it's just bringing this whole thing, this whole energy round circle, y'all. I'm not sure what's going, what's the play with hip-hop in Vegas. And they throwing Tupac into the mix. And Diddy. And then you could tie in Usher. It's going to be performing at the Super Bowl. I haven't connected all the dots, but something not right here, y'all. Something is definitely not right. I'm um, probably going to do some gematria on it. And we can come back and talk more about it in detail. But just think about that. What's the odds of Tupac's murderer being arrested during the 50 years of hip-hop celebration? It's, it's like the cherry on top. Like, it don't get more hip-hop than Tupac. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then the murder of Tupac. Then the story of Tupac. Oh, they going to capitalize on this situation again. You know, during the 50th year anniversary. So what? We about to have another movie. Another documentary. Another book. Like, oh my gosh. They've just been sucking his soul dry. And it's a little sickening. Like, it's just, it's sickening the fact that they waited for the perfect moment to arrest him. It's performative, y'all. It's very performative. But like they say, all the world's a stage and the people are merely actors, you know? It's crazy because it's like, who's pulling these strings? Who's telling who what to do? You have some people who I'm sure the cops are just working their job, just going about their regular life, doing what they got to do here, I'm sure. They not in on it. But, you know, who pushed that green button go to say, okay, we going to do this right now. This would be the perfect time. You know, I guess they always say follow the money. Who does the money lead to? And I got my tarot cards. I'm driving right now, but I still want to pull a card. Like, what was the purpose of arresting Tupac's murderer during the 50 years of hip-hop? And um, if y'all haven't noticed, I did change my name. Um, I'm going to change it one more time. So it can be more fit into the direction of the page. My name is going to be Interstellar Perspective moving forward. And that's how we going to work this, you know? Like, I don't want to be tied to conspiracy. I don't want my energy tied to the word conspiracy, you know? Because that, that word has like a negative energy to it. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody been waiting and investing. Um, that energy has that word has a lot of negative energy tied to it. So we gonna go with something a little bit more high vibrational. We gonna go with interstellar perspective. Cause ultimately that's what I wanna do. I wanna give a quantum, spiritual, interstellar perspective 
on these real life everyday so they say real life situations but yeah um so i pulled one card i'm gonna pull one more card what was the purpose of them arresting tupac's murderer during the 50 years of hip-hop spirit what was the purpose spirit help us to receive an interstellar perspective what was the purpose spirit Eight of Cups. Somebody said, why not? Perfect timing. Someone has to go. Why, why leave any stone unturned? Why wait another second? Let me put these up because I'm driving. But, um... Yeah, I just think that it's really weird and I think that we need to pay more attention when they do things like this, you know, because it's all about the buildup of the energy and ultimately, what are they trying to do with the energy? What are they trying to put out to our community, to our children, to our loved ones? Because it's us who are affected. You know, it's us, the um, the ones who are actually in this world, in these streets, who get affected by whatever energy they put out there. But yeah, I just want to bring attention to that really quick. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know how y'all feel. Like I said, I'm probably going to do a, a full video, maybe a live on it um, soon. So we can get deeper into it, you know, look at some numbers because I'm sure this is not a coincidence. I know it's not. Nothing is coincidence, you know. Um, as there's all these big talks about hip hop and, you know, hip hop is going to be in the, or not hip hop, but break dancing is going to be in the Olympics. It's like they're just feasting on his energy. They need that, that energy right now, but all right y'all i love y'all don't forget to like and comment subscribe i know it's been a minute but i love y'all to life and i'll talk to y'all later